morning. Oh my goodness. Uh, yeah, we've got a big update. <laughs> Here we are, uh, back at our back at Pant Station, which is where we arrived on the Mountain Railway at the end of yesterday. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't look like we're starting any walk this morning. Yes, we've had an unforeseen <laughs> hiccup. And that unforeseen hiccup is not even Storm Agnes, which is the weather that's coming in today. Yeah. Um, which, by the way, I just want to say, um, if we were doing the real Beacons Way, we would be going up Penavan today. I'm yeah. so happy that we're not doing that. Yeah, very happy. We would happy. have had to cancel. But uh, anyway, what's happened this morning, Kat? Well, we've had a little car trouble. <laughs> um, we thought at first we'd got away with it somewhat. Um, um, a very kind mechanic in a local garage in Crick Howell helped us out and got us moving, but uh, we've stopped again and the car's not starting at all. So yeah. I think our main main effort for today is to try and get home, get yeah. warm, stay safe from the storm and we'll see what happens from there. Yeah, um, and get Jack home <laughs> safely. Yes. Um, yeah. So yeah, it may not be a, a huge amount of walking happening <laughs> no. today, but um, we are going to keep walking in whatever way we can. Yeah, I mean, this is the reality, isn't it? You just don't know what the weather or other life circumstances have in store for you. So yes. we're going to do our best and hopefully we'll have some walking later in the week. But I don't know if we'll be able to complete the route we had planned or not. We'll just have to wait and see. Yeah updates to follow yeah <laughs> <laughs> Jack, look at the camera. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, how do we sum up <laughs> what's been going on? What day is it? It's Thursday, mm -hmm. which is day five of our adventure. We ended up having a day off yesterday while we got the car towed away um it's being fixed today so we can't do our planned route so we're doing a shorter walk instead yep it's one that katie's done before so i get to just uh, go along for the ride <laughs> yeah um yeah we're having to deal with the camper van driving past us <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we are having to improvise a bit because of our car circumstance, but... Yeah, it unfortunately means we're not going to be able to complete even the rerouted trail that I had planned. But I think we're still hoping we might manage 100 miles. Gonna try. <laughs> um, the weather was grim yesterday anyway. Storm yeah. Magnus came in over the mountains and I was kind of grateful that we weren't out walking in it. Actually, yeah, the timing of it was kind of useful in terms of if it was going to break down at any point in the car, then during Storm Agnes was yeah. the best time for it to happen. Yeah, it would have been really sad if it had been one of those beautiful days earlier yeah. in the week. So We weren't too unhappy with the gale force winds blowing to have to just go home. No, and you've just got to be prepared, haven't you? Anything can happen at any time, so yeah. you've got to be flexible with your plans. Yep, when you're dealing with the outdoors. <laughs> Um, but the good thing about doing a shorter route today uh, means that we can have Jack join us. So that's going to be lovely, isn't it, buddy? You've done this walk before too, so it's just new for Katrina. Um, but hopefully it's going to be a lovely walk. It's, it's still kind of windy and cloudy, so we might get wet and blown around at the top of the mountain. But um, I think it's going to be fun. Yeah.
been quite a different walk today so far. Probably looks totally different to you. Yeah, it's been very, very different, which has been nice. Yeah, we're obviously in a totally different part of the National Park. Um, nonetheless beautiful, but uh, really wild over here. Yeah, very wide and open, which we haven't had that much of. Um, and the weather's been surprisingly kind. Yeah, we had so a far. little outbreak of rain so far, but um, it's been dry, if a bit windy and mm. chilly. It's definitely our coldest day so far. Yeah. But also we've been higher than any day we've been so far. So mm. uh, Jack's been a very good boy, haven't you? Yes. Mm, good boy. <laughs> um, and we've reached our where we're stopping for the day. This is a little swallow hole so where the river runs away into the side of the mountain this whole mountain is filled with an extensive system of caves um, which you can visit there's a not well there are loads and loads of caves you can't visit unless you're a proper caving enthusiast but there's a portion that's open to the public we were going to try and visit today but it's closed sadly um, mm. but we came up here to see where the river disappears into the side of the mountain very boggy where we've been yeah, walking to been get wet. to this point <laughs> um, but yeah it's beautiful but it's good because if it's too dry then the river just dries up altogether so you have to come on a wet day to see the river disappear under the rocks and now we're gonna head back down yeah we're gonna go and uh, have a restful evening enjoy the rest of our quieter day and then we'll get back to our bigger hiking tomorrow yep just heading back down the mountain it's been a surprisingly lovely walk for a make-do situation yeah it has particularly because it's just been such a change from what we've seen already yeah the weather's been kind <laughs> it feels like it's about to start raining but we're dry so far yeah um yeah it's just just been I'm, I'm glad we got to do a walk at all today we've done about eight miles all together and uh now we're going to go and have a nice leisurely evening what are you looking forward to the most oh i can't decide between the hot shower the glass of wine the jigsaw oh it all sounds good <laughs> <laughs> it all sounds really good and jack's been such a good boy today it's been really nice to have him with us for the whole walk so that's been a special treat hasn't it buddy good boy and there is a slim chance that i might be able to see some cute animals in a moment when we get to the oh, bottom of the mountain. that's true. We're going to walk past the uh, petting zoo, so Kat is hopeful for seeing some animal friends, but... Um, Depends yeah. whether they're hiding from the weather or not. Well, because uh, the cave, it's part of the cave's attraction, and that's closed today, they might be keeping the animals indoors, so I don't know, but you might be lucky. We'll certainly put them in the video if they're there. <laughs> we certainly will. I'll be keeping Jack well away from them, though. <laughs>
We don't have that much to say, do we? No, we don't.